Good day, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving to my fellow Canadians. It is uh, Grand Arena time. It is season two, week two, round two. And I am three and one in this current season. I hit Kyber last season, so I'm just kind of playing more for fun this season. Trying not to stress out about it as much. My opponent has gone and cleared my board, and good, but still got under 1,900 banners. So I'm thinking he didn't undersize a whole bunch, but he's got a really tough board to face. Um, so we're gonna pick away. I've kind of already looked at the front board, figure out what I want to use. He's got his Darth Revan. I do have my Darth Revan for offense, but he's got a 320 speed Basilisk on Fallen, so I out I outspeed his Darth Revan with my Darth Revan, so the best I could do is I'd go first and I would uh, go after Sith Trooper, but that would leave his Bastila Shawn still open and then she'd start her no debuff train and I, I don't really want to chance that, so since it does have Sith Trooper, we are going to try my Padme team. I got enough practice with it in... Uh, in arena that uh, I shouldn't have a problem but you know how these things go sometimes things just go south so of course they're going to do all their goodies Get rid of. I played that wrong. And of course, down to Lone Malak. It seems to be just the way it goes though, right guys? And of course, I have the potency cross off of my Anakin because I've been running with my Shock T team. But let's hope to not have an issue. Healing immunity still up. He's sure missing a lot. Healing immunity still up. And bye bye. Malik's off the board, but down eight banners, which isn't good. So now I looked at his bounty hunters, and he does have a 282 Bosk. So I cannot trooper this. And I do believe down south he has what is a Rex and Asajj. And it's uh, all good teams. So we are going to CLS this. Um, normally, yeah, I could trooper it. I just feel confident using CLS against Bounty Hunters. So that's what I'm going to use. Sorry, Django. Sorry, Boba. Not going to be full banners again, but not a whole lot I can do about that at this point. I 
Those damn thermals. They're definitely good for taking points off the board. And there we go. 55. I think he's pretty much already got me for points, but you should still see the battles. I'm not too concerned. Uh, my goal now a days is getting uh, two, at least two wins per round just for the mats. So look. Ew. Well, that's going to be something I could probably trooper. And troopers on defense. What the hell? What? I got a good, good offense, so... If we can just get through, if he's got nothing but junk in the back line, that'll be nice. Now, this Night Sister team, I've said in previous videos and comments that I like to use my geos, but it's only good against um, a equal, like equal teams. So you see here, they got four relic characters. I only have one on my on my geo team. I'm working to resolve that, and uh, I scoped out their tells, and they got a high tenacity talisman. So one of the things with geos is you gotta get that ability block up right away on Mother Talzin, and if it misses, it has the potential to go south. So I'm gonna take the easy way out against the Night Sisters and go Jedi Revan. Yeah, that's the easy way. I don't know, whatever. What am I? It is what it is. Well, looks like Warrior's doing his GAC. One. Two. And bye-bye. Now it's... How many banners can we get back through assist calls? Damn, that spirit hits freaking hard, man. And I'm gonna try a little trick here that I did in my last video called uh, Beat on Zombie until your protection's back. We're gonna try it here. The only problem is that spirit will, can hit so goddamn hard. Just keep calling, keep using it, call assists. See if I can out. Let's put it on Bastila. Give her some assisting. Assist the Bastila again. Get some protection back. As much protection back as I can. Because this guy's banners are nice. They're very well. There we go. Now, at this point, I'm, zombie's not going anywhere. So I'm going to put up some foresight because I, I don't, I don't want spirit hitting me if I can help it. Now I'm going to pass over to Grandmaster. There's some big protection back, and some more foresight. Pass over Jolie. There we go. So I think, I think we're good now. I think we're good for 60. But just in case, let's heal and call to assist. Perfect. Perfect. It went exactly. There's a little trick, guys. It works for Geos too. You focus on zombie, leave spirit just sitting there. And uh, keep hitting zombie until you get all your health protection back. Now, 
Haven't had a lot of experience going up against Rex teams. But we are going to use high offense team. No Bastel Sean. Is Bastel Sean good? Well, of course she is. Speed up. Well, that was probably dumb. Yeah, I hear fives. Ah, oh, crap. Never even thought of that. Okay, good, it went away. All right. All right now fives is out of here. Oh, and he burnt his uh, Annihilate on Malak. Perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. Yeah, this clone team's no slouch there, guys. Get the hell out of here, Shakti. Again, uh, a non-full banner win. It's going to be a pretty, pretty poor banner showing. 54. So I got to do. So I got to get really freaking tricky on this back wall if I'm going to pull it out points wise. Karth and Kira. Okay, so I got a lot. I got a lot. So I'm gonna have to try the uh, the nest team. I got bugs for Karth. And then, what Zeta are you missing? Oh, you're not gonna taunt. You're missing the scarred Zeta. Huh, okay. Well, you leave yourself wide open. Um, Do not have you're not gonna have a taunt to open. How fast is your Kylo? 231, so he's 261. So you guys are gonna go turn that off. I don't want that interrupting. So can I underman it is the question. I can probably 60 banner it. I don't know if I can underman it. How fast is your officer, though? Ooh, you don't have a speed set on him. So he's 245. Yeah, yeah, these guys are getting troopered. My only question is, is do I? Ah, no, let's just go for the 60. Let's not uh, go for an undersized win and screw up. Quite surprised you put that down on defense. Beefy, beefy Kylo. There we go. Is that 60? That's 60. That is 60. Thank you. Okay, so we might as well try the nest. The question is, can I get away with an undersized here? I can. Sure can. We'll leave Savage off. Let's look at the team again.
Yeah, the nest is really, you know, Vandar okay. Yeah, Stormtrooper Han. You know, I need the undersized winds anyway, so let's uh, let's go in undermanned. So he saved his geos for offense. Yes, we will isolate you. I am not going to do my AOE yet because Stormtrooper Han is going to taunt right now. Bye bye taunt. And now we'll work on Chewy. Ba boom. Bye, Chewy. Held by hatred. By nest. Can I get more? Uh, no. There's no real way to get protection back unless I go re. Wow. Well, Scion can. Let's see if this can give. I don't think I can get it all back on the Nile or on Nihilus. I can try to get some back on Scion, but she's gonna die first. Yeah. What did I get? 57. Undersized win out of it. No, I got a lot left. I got my bugs. I got my droids. How good is this Karth team? I think the bugs could probably get me more banners. Oh crap. Uh, typical. No, uh, no Zeta on Juhani, but everything else is typical. Now, it can go sideways once, uh, if, uh, What's her name? Mission starts uh, dazing all oh my guys. So let's go overkill because this one, this one's a lot funner to play. I should outspeed him, no problem. Yes, that was a speed set on my Droidica. And even with a potency. Okay, good. Oh, that just worked out perfectly. Let's see if I can stun mission. Oh, or kill her. Okay. Can I stun Ordo? Nope. Get some protection back. Hey, hey, hey now. Nope. Oh. Must be a high tenacious uh, Zalbar. Okay, now I gotta just get protection back. Let's get uh, B2 topped off first. Why didn't that happen? Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, okay. You went down. Way too fast, which just highlights the power of a Grelic Drevis. All right, well, max you can get is what on a battle? Offensive win, you can get 64. So I don't think I can win, guys. So 106, uh, 1656, six, so that's 756, six, 836. Six. Yeah, no, I can't win. 
836, so 840. Yes, I can get 1900 still here, can't I? No, I can't. 180 plus 64 is only 244. 244. So yeah, no, I can get 1900. Huh, okay. So I just gotta be perfect so who's my best bet bugs or this team how's this Stark doing let's see how fast is your Stark you do got a speed set 250 so he's 2 273 273 right and so that works gain 20 speed okay so I'm gonna outspeed your Stark by my Basilish on Fallen so I should get the upper hand we're doing EP we're doing EP you win or lose on the backs of the old Emperor And this will take away everyone's turn meter. Perfect. Stark is the danger. Let's see if I can kill your Veers. Sure can. Lots of stuns. Okay. See if I can get an ability block. I did. And a stun. I went down exactly how I wanted it to. I still got the turn meter lead. Let's put some more fear down. The reason why I like uh, Basil Sean Fallen on this team, guys, is it just generates so many debuffs and. You just move so quickly. Shock, shock. Lots of debuffs by Stark. Troopers on defense. Well, you had a lot of defense, buddy. But I had, well, you had no defense in the back row. But I was more efficient. Is that 1900? Oh my god. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho. Look at that guys. 1896 to 1894. I'm so sorry, Druna. I'm so sorry. Cuz I know when you log back in and you look, you're going to swear profusely. So we both one shot each other. He held his Darth Revan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He held his Darth Revan for defense. I used mine for offense. So I tend to play a little bit more offensively. I like to make sure I have in hand every counter that I'm going to need to clear your board. And to hopefully do it efficiently as possible. And I thought I was pretty damn sloppy off the front. But there you go. A lot of guys just throw Darth Revan on uh, defense and think that... Uh, or hope that their opponent's not going to clear, but I don't want. I don't like playing by hope. I have practiced too much with my Padme to lose against your typical Darth Revan. And since I also hold my Darth Revan for offense, if I need to, if I feel like it's not going to go my way, and I have the speed advantages on my Darth Revan, I will mirror match. So whew, there it is, guys. I hope you enjoyed that one. That one was actually really fun since I pretty much thought I was going to lose. I might as well show you guys what I do for off uh, for defense. Night Sisters and a separatist team. Well, scoundrel separatist team. And then I got my exact same bounty hunter lineup as he's got up front, which will burn a CLS. Um, my boss is also really 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 fast, so unless he's got like a relic 
Stark. He's not going to bounty hunter, or he's not going to Imperial Trooper my bounty hunters. I got the same Rex lineup as you saw. Shock T, double Zeta, which is useless now. A lot of relics on those guys. And then my back row is all weak. Gear 12 First Order, Gear 12 Resistance. Gear 12 Karth, and Gear 12 Kira Scoundrels. And Gear 11, I guess. So, good win. Good win, guys. Until week three in the finals. Catch you later. Cheers.